Have you ever wondered why some people turn to a life of crime while others don't? Why some people seem to be born to break the law while others would never dream of it? Today, we're going to explore the psychology behind criminal behavior and answer these questions and more. In the United States alone, there are over 2 million people incarcerated in jails and prisons. That's a staggering number, and it begs the question, why do people commit crimes? Is it a lack of moral character, a lack of opportunity, or is there something deeper at play? Over the years, criminal psychologists have conducted extensive research to try and answer this question. And what they've found may surprise you. We found that criminal behavior is often the result of a complex interplay of environmental, social, and psychological factors. It's not as simple as saying someone is just bad or evil. There are usually deeper issues at play. So what are these deeper issues? Let's take a closer look. One of the most common reasons people turn to a life of crime is a lack of opportunity. When people feel like they have no way out, no other options, they may turn to crime as a way to survive. For example, people who are homeless or living in poverty may turn to theft or drug dealing as a way to make money. And people who struggle with addiction may turn to crime as a way to support their habit. Another factor that can lead to criminal behavior is social pressure. People who grow up in neighborhoods where gangs are prevalent may feel pressure to join a gang to fit in and be accepted. Social pressure is one of the many factors that can lead to criminal behavior. It can be defined as the influence that other individuals or groups have on an individual's behavior, thoughts, or emotions. People who grow up in neighborhoods where gangs are prevalent are often exposed to this type of pressure. They may feel the need to conform to the norms and values of their social environment, including the pressure to join a gang to fit in and be accepted. Individuals who are subject to social pressure may feel that joining a gang is necessary to gain social status or respect, or to protect themselves from potential harm. Joining a gang may provide them with a sense of belonging, a support network, and a feeling of power or control over their lives. Moreover, the socialization process within a gang can lead to a distorted perception of the world, where violent behavior and criminal activities are normalized and even glorified. The pressure to join a gang is not limited to neighborhoods with high gang activity rates. It can also occur in schools, workplaces, or other social settings where groups or cliques form. Peer pressure can be a powerful force in shaping an individual's behavior, and those who resist it may face social ostracism, ridicule, or even physical harm. However, it is important to note that social pressure alone does not determine criminal behavior. Other factors such as individual personality traits, cognitive development, family environment, and socioeconomic status also play a role. Moreover, not all individuals who face social pressure succumb to it, and many find alternative ways to cope with their social environment without engaging in criminal behavior. Social pressure is a complex and multifaceted phenomenon that can contribute to criminal behavior, especially in environments where gangs or other criminal organizations are prevalent. Understanding the role of social pressure in criminal behavior can help develop effective prevention and intervention strategies to address the underlying issues and promote positive social norms and values. Similarly, children who are bullied or ostracized at school may turn to criminal behavior as a way to gain power and control. But perhaps the biggest factor in criminal behavior is psychological issues. People who struggle with mental health issues like depression, anxiety, or personality disorders leading to criminal behavior. We found that people who struggle with impulse control, or who have a history of trauma or abuse, are more likely to engage in criminal behavior. It's important to address these underlying issues in order to prevent future criminal activity. So what does all of this mean? It means that criminal behavior is not a simple issue, and there's no one-size-fits-all solution. But it also means that there's hope. The link between criminal behavior and underlying issues such as impulse control problems or a history of trauma or abuse is well established. Individuals who struggle with impulse control may have difficulty resisting the urge to engage in impulsive and sometimes illegal activities. This can lead to a pattern of criminal behavior. By addressing impulse control issues through therapy, medication, or other interventions, individuals can learn to better manage their impulses and avoid engaging in criminal behavior. Similarly, individuals who have experienced trauma or abuse may be more likely to engage in criminal behavior as a coping mechanism or as a way to gain a sense of control over their lives. By providing trauma-informed care and support, 
individuals can begin to heal from their past experiences and develop healthier coping mechanisms. It's important to note that addressing underlying issues is not a quick fix. It requires a long-term, multifaceted approach that involves addressing social, economic, and cultural factors that contribute to criminal behavior. This includes providing access to education, employment, and mental health services, as well as addressing systemic issues such as poverty, inequality, and discrimination. However, it's important to remember that there is hope. Through a comprehensive approach that addresses underlying issues and promotes positive social norms and values, we can reduce the incidence of criminal behavior and promote a safer, healthier society. By working together to address the root causes of criminal behavior, we can create a brighter future for individuals, families, and communities. By addressing the underlying issues that lead to criminal behavior, we can help people turn their lives around and become productive members of society. Addressing the underlying issues that lead to criminal behavior is essential in helping people turn their lives around and become productive members of society. By providing support and resources to individuals struggling with issues such as addiction, mental health disorders, trauma, or poverty, we can help break the cycle of criminal behavior. One effective approach is through rehabilitation programs that address the root causes of criminal behavior. These programs can include therapy, education, job training, and substance abuse treatment. By addressing these underlying issues, individuals can learn new skills, build positive relationships, and develop a sense of purpose and self-worth. This can help them to avoid engaging in criminal behavior and become contributing members of society. Another important factor is addressing the social and economic factors that contribute to criminal behavior. This includes providing access to education and employment opportunities, as well as addressing systemic issues such as poverty and inequality. By promoting social and economic mobility, individuals are less likely to resort to criminal activity as a means of survival or as a way to gain a sense of control over their lives. Furthermore, it is important to recognize that criminal behavior is not always a choice. Some individuals may have been born into circumstances that make criminal behavior more likely, such as growing up in poverty or being exposed to violence and trauma. By addressing these root causes, we can help individuals overcome the challenges they face and create a path to a brighter future. By addressing the underlying issues that lead to criminal behavior, we can help individuals turn their lives around and become productive members of society. Through rehabilitation programs, education, job training, and addressing social and economic factors, we can create a society that promotes positive outcomes for all individuals, regardless of their background. By working together, we can break the cycle of criminal behavior and create a safer, healthier society for everyone. This is why criminal psychology is such an important field. By understanding the root causes of criminal behavior, we can develop effective treatment strategies that help people overcome their struggles and live fulfilling lives. So, if you're someone who has struggled with criminal behavior in the past, know that there is hope. You can seek out help from a criminal psychologist or therapist who can help you address the underlying issues that may be contributing to your behavior. With the right support and guidance, you can learn healthy coping mechanisms and develop the skills you need to lead a successful and fulfilling life. And for those of us who haven't struggled with criminal behavior, we can still make a difference. We can volunteer in our communities, support organizations that provide resources to those in need, and advocate for policies that address the root causes of crime. Because at the end of the day, we're all in this together. By working together, we can create a world where everyone has access to the resources and support they need to lead healthy and fulfilling lives. So let's keep exploring the psychology behind criminal behavior, and let's keep working towards a brighter future for all. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.